Hey guys, it's Avery here, and uh, we need to talk. So, let me go ahead and explain why this video is called The Truth. Um, just very quickly, as I'm going to be explaining some things in this video that I don't feel like I've really explained enough, um, or if at all, on the channel ever since I kind of made a comeback when I made the video where I said, I'm back, and this and that, and whatever. Um, and that's where I just, I kind of want to start, I guess. So, uh, for those of you who are not aware of the YouTube adpocalypse, as some people are calling it, it is really hitting every single YouTuber uh, that does this full time, does it as a career, makes money off of it. People that are far more bigger than myself uh, are seeing their ad revenue cut by 50%, sometimes more. Now, me being a small channel, it's hard to say whether I'm affected or not because I really don't make anything off of YouTube, whether I'm partnered with someone or not, which I was for the longest time. But now, um, if I'm correct in saying this, I'm no longer partnered with the partner I was with, which was, um, God, I can't even remember their name. <laughs> um, anyway, I was partnered with some MCN. Um, I left because there was no money being made for either of us. So it was kind of just pointless. And for the longest time before I actually came back to YouTube, when I found out I could make money, I tried to make money, but it, of course, didn't work because my channel was too small. So I came back after kind of taking like a month or two hiatus. I forget how long it was. And I came back with the intention that I want to be able to do this for fun. And if possible, which was one of the big points going for me, was to make this a full-time career. Well, not a career, I should say, but a full-time job. At least until I get in my actual full-time career of being in uh, the radio and TV production scene. For those of you who don't know, if you haven't been a long-time subscriber, um, I want to get my uh, four-year college degree or university, for those of you in the UK, in radio and TV. Uh, so a communications degree, basically. That is my goal in life, is to like have my own radio show or TV show, whatever the case may be. So I thought that YouTube could be a great way to kind of, I guess, in a sense, catapult my way to that, or at least be doing what I enjoy um, before I actually hit my field. However, when I came back, I also wanted to potentially make this something into a career such as, you know, have a subscriber count like Desilem Enigma, like Capital G, these big Yugi tubers that were able to grow over time. But the only thing I have done is go from the 710 subscribers I had down to like 694 and back up to 696. Whether that's because of my content, whether that's because people think my videos are clickbait, it doesn't matter. The point is that my subscriber count is dropping instead of growing. I was really working my ass off to try and get to a thousand subscribers. And I don't know where I'm falling flat, to be completely honest with you. Um, I even sent an email to Randall uh, a, couple, a few months ago, and I said, hey, you know, do you have any tips for me to get to a thousand subs? And he said, you know, it's a grind. You really just have to look at basically the competition, see what my fellow YouTubers are doing. You know, you look at a video like, let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, you look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Timeline Explained video. Uh, that was an example that he gave me. Um, you look at that video and, like, for example, 335,000 views. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, I don't know how many subscribers he has. But, okay, so seven, 17,000 subscribers. But yet this video that he made has almost half a million views. Why is that? It's because of the fact that that's interesting stuff that people are into. This one, 117,000 views. Why is your face covered? You know, it's... It's interesting things like that. Um, here it is. Well, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Timeline, that's not it. But <laughs> you, you, you get what I'm saying. People are interested in the anime. It's like in Dragon Ball Super. You look at Geekdom 101. People are interested in that kind of anime stuff. I'm not an anime channel, so I can't really do anything with that. The most I would be able to do is, you know, secret meaning behind Yu-Gi-Oh! Waking the Dragon season. You know, like secret hidden messages that maybe the... Uh, creators were trying to tell you. But again, I'm not an anime channel, and it might not take off as I would hope it to do. Like when I did my History Yu-Gi-Oh! series, I thought that was really going to blow up, even though I was reading from something I saw on like Reddit or whatever it was. So granted, people could just go and read the article themselves, 
However, it might take off because people can just listen to the video in the background or whatever the case may be. Kind of like what Master Fox 72 did with his History U series and it made him blow up. I tried to basically recreate that and help myself blow up so I could gain a lot of subscribers and it didn't work. Now, when I came back into this, I figured, well, let me, let me give a bit of backstory. I came back into this because for one, I'm going to be completely honest, I work a, a job that I'm not happy with working. <laughs> um, the people I work with are great, but it's in retail, so of course you're dealing with the public. It's not the best thing in the world. Good money, but it's not something I'm happy with doing. I know I'm not doing it forever, but I would much rather do YouTube and make money doing this. This is where the YouTube apocalypse comes in. <laughs> There's no money to be made. YouTube is dying. I feel like I'm kind of seeing it from a few miles away like many other big YouTubers are. And I'm not trying to say that I'm quitting YouTubing because I do enjoy this, but I can guarantee you whether you're family friendly or not, you're not going to make money at doing this. If you want to do this as, as a career, you should have done this as a career back in like 2007 when, when YouTube was like the wild, wild west because it was a lot less regulated. Now, I mean, you know, if you're not family friendly, you're basically screwed. And I checked myself just to see if I was family friendly. And I actually am. I haven't checked Capital G. I haven't checked the sound name. And the only reason why I'm using them is because um, is because of the fact that they're big channels. So they're like good, I guess, examples to go off of. So let's go ahead and just put in restricted mode. And you're going to see, at least you should see, none of my videos disappear. None. Um... So for the most part, I am family friendly. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything here uh, that is gone. Yeah, there's like nothing here that's gone. However, if you do this to like PewDiePie, he only has one video. Um, you do this to, to Silent Enigma. Uh, let's go ahead and put on restricted mode again. Yeah, and his videos don't disappear. Well, for the most part, anyway. The first few don't seem to disappear. Um, I'm not going to go through every single individual video to see if they've disappeared or not. Uh, I don't see his help me video unless that was from a while ago. But you get the picture. So, th th there's, there's, there's too much drama in it, you guys. There's too much regulation now. There's too much craziness. And I will admit, I really wanted to make this into a business. I wanted to be able to, you know, not have to do school assignments like this Avery presentation thing here that I had to do uh, for my college class. You know, I want to post videos. I want to just have fun doing what I enjoy. And it's just the, the writings on the wall that YouTube is just dying, you guys. YouTube is, um, it's just, it's, it's not what it used to be anymore. And, um, Unfortunately, I'm not going I feel like I'm I'm not going to be able to make this into the business that I want it to be. You know, having 10,000 plus subscribers or whatever the case may be. Um and <laughs> admittedly, hope what I was hoping for quitting my job <laughs> so I could do this until I get into my full-time career and have a fan base already built up um to where when I go into radio, I kind of have that resume like, "Yeah, I'm big on YouTube. Here's my channel." And they'll be like, "Oh yeah, we've seen you before." You know, whatever the case may be. Um I've tried doing um, deals with companies, even though I'm, I'm a rather small channel, just to see if I could kind of maybe get something going or get like a partnership going with like a local card shop. Tried doing it with Cool Stuff Games and they weren't interested. Um, never got a call back, so that's how I knew. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, it's difficult, you guys. It's definitely a grind. And you can get there if you grind. I mean, a perfect example is Master Fox 72 even though he doesn't do YouTubing anymore. Another perfect example is the RJB0. I was watching him when he had 200 subscribers, and now he's back in it, and he's doing well. You know, he's getting shout-outs from SEMO and people like that who I've tried to message before and be like, hey, you know, what do I have to do to post on your channel, and he never responded back. You know, I'm not trying to call him out, but, I mean, you know, when you're trying to make headway in this dog-eat-dog -dog world and people don't respond to you, it's kind of hard to do, and then you're basically screwed and you're on your own. Um... So, I don't know anymore, you guys. Uh, I don't want to have to like put my PayPal in the description and make you guys think that you have to donate to me to make me still post videos. Because I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. You know, I'm I'm just shy of being at the 700 subscriber mark that I was at, and um, you know, it's whatever. 
and I'm kind of just speechless at this point. You know, it, it sucks I wasn't able to make this into the business I want it to be. Um, and I just kind of once again feel like I'm the Wings of Redemption of the Yugi tubing community. For those of you who don't know who Wings of Redemption is, he's this uh, Call of Duty YouTuber who um, basically just didn't grow. He's been around for like 10 years now, as long as White Boy 7th Street practically. And uh, he just, he doesn't really grow anymore. He loses subscribers more than anything. He's not really able to make a living off of this. Just because people don't really watch his videos. There's been drama surrounding his channel. He's just been kind of thrown to the wayside. And I just kind of feel like that's what's happened with my channel since day one. I've never been able to really get anything off the ground. You know, you look at my old videos. This just goes to show you how long I've been doing this. You know, you go from oldest to newest. You know, like, look at how old I was here. Like, not only is the cringe factor so huge, but, like, six years ago, six years ago, like, my God, my views got nothing. And, like, my camera was god-awful. Don't even get me started on that. Uh, six years ago, and then it finally moves up to, like, five years ago at one point. That was a YCS Orlando vlog. That was five years ago. Hard to believe. And, like, I'm it just, I tried making videos, and... Uh, it, it just never worked out. It never did. And it seemed like no matter what I tried to do, it just it never grew. So, basically what I'm trying to say is, if you want to be a Yugi tuber, don't waste your time if you're trying to make this into a business. If you want to make this into a business like Boogie, and I can guarantee you people like Capital G and M. Cole Fortnite, they have made this into a business because they grinded and, you know, they they did what they needed to do. And me, I've tried being on that grind, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. I've tried, you know, having good titles like Should Ghost Ashby Ban. You know, it got some dislikes, but it got a good amount of views. Um, I tried doing interesting deck profiles like Armed Dragons, and that only got 48 views. Um, even a regional deck profile of Counter Fairy only got like 67 views. So, I, again, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know I've said this like a million times already in this video, but... You know, the writing's on the wall, YouTube is dying, um, even if you're family friendly and you're getting views like Cap G or Design Enigma or MCO40 is, there's no money to be made in this, you guys, there's really not, you can't make this into a business anymore, unless you're someone like PewDiePie, who, even if his, res uh, almost said reservation, if, even if his, um, money amount that he's making, like $4 million, he gets cut in half, he's still making $2 million. and it's... I don't know. Maybe it's on YouTube's end. Maybe it's on my end, not posting daily. All I know is that I'm still going to be here making videos. I'm still going to be enjoying it. Um, but I just kind of have to accept the fact that this is not going to be the YouTube channel that I was hoping to create it to be. Uh, whether I post five videos in a day or one video a week, the writing's on the wall at this point that this channel is not going to grow the way I was hoping it to. Um, so. That's kind of it. I tried <laughs> to quit my crappy job and make this into a channel that I wanted it to be. Maybe I'm not posting the right videos. Maybe it's on YouTube's end. Maybe it's the algorithm screwing me over. I don't know. If you're a bigger Yugi tuber and you somehow happen to see this, whether it's Robbie, Simo, I don't know, Cyber Knight, like the Team APS, I don't know. Like if, if one of y'all happen to see this video or all y'all happen to see this video, whether you're smaller than me, bigger than me, feel free to make a video response if you want and give your opinion about it. But I feel like whether you're in the Yugi tubing community or the video game community or like if you're a Boogie2988 channel or a Philip DeFranco channel, there, there's no money to be made in this. Whether you're a big channel, small channel, whether you have 50 million subscribers or 700, the writing's on the wall that YouTube's dying. And there's nothing that any of us can do about it. So, I know this is kind of a long video. I apologize for the rambling. But I wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, if you want to make a video response, go ahead. Um, leave your comments down below what you think. I'm still going to be here making videos for you guys. That's not going to change. Um, so, but yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't able to make this into the channel I was hoping it to make. But, regardless... We're going we're gonna to keep making entertaining videos and keep doing those live streams. So thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.